Bing! It's story time. Story, story, story time. Let's read a story time. Story, story, story time. I'm geek the story time. Story, story, story time. You and me is story time. Story, story, story time. Let's achieve hello everyone and welcome to story time with me, Kayla. How's everyone doing out there? I hope you are doing well and making sure to stay safe. Now today we have another special Arthur feature. Today's book is actually perfect for Black History Month because it's filled with history and culture and overall Black excellence. So we are going to take a look at a book from Tangela Irby, who is an Arthur, educator, quilter, and a G's Ben legacy. So without further ado, the book we will be reading tonight is called Brrr, dun, 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 dun. Pearl and Her G's Ben Quilt, written by Tangela A. Irby and illustrated by India Shiana. You ready to see what this book is all about? Ready, set, let's begin. Pearl and Her G's Ben Quilt, written by Tangela A. Irby and illustrated by India Shiana. Now, in this book, we're going to see special quilts like the one here on the cover. Miss Tangela's maternal grandma, Miss Pearlie, actually made this exact quilt years ago, and now it can be seen on the cover of this book, which is pretty cool. <laughs> here we go. She signed it for us, and we got an autograph from Miss Mary L. Petway. We're going to learn about her a little later. Here we go. Look at that beautiful quilt. On a lazy Sunday afternoon, Pearl sat playing in the living room with her friends Sally and Ella as the aroma of homemade biscuits, smothered chicken, rice, collard greens from the garden, and Grandma's famous tea cakes filled the house. Ooh, that sounds yummy. <laughs> wow, that quilt is amazing, said Sally. My mom has quilts like this at our house. Grandma told me I come from a long line of G's Bin quilters whose quilts have been displayed in galleries and museums all over, Pearl proudly boasted. When I get older, I'm going to make quilts too, and one of my quilts will hang over there one day, Pearl pointed to the empty space where she intended to display her work. This quilt was designed from Miss Tangela's paternal grandmother, Miss Jency. Pretty cool. That's pretty neat, but what are G's Bin quilts? I've never heard of that before, Sally asked, wide-eyed. Hmm. Pearl sat up straight, with confidence. Back when my grandma was younger, the house she lived in did not have any heat, so she and her siblings used quilts to keep warm during winter. The families who lived in G's Bend, Alabama were very large. Some had 10 or more children, so they needed lots of quilts. Can you imagine that? They must have needed lots and lots and lots more blankets that you have in your home right now. <laughs> they would tear up old clothing to use for fabric. The women would move from house to house, quilting during the evening. During the day, many of them worked at the Freedom Quilting Bee. They would use sewing machines to piece together the tops, but they quilted them together by hand. Sally and Ella listened in amazement, surprised that their play date had turned into a fantastic lesson about Pearl's family history. That is a, some pretty cool family history. Grandma always says quilts are like your handwriting, Pearl explained. She says every quilt should be different from everyone else's. I asked Grandma how she comes up with so many different designs. She told me she talks to God when she quilts, and he gives her an idea every time. I told her that I am not sure that I will be able to quilt the way she does, but she told me, you can only do your best. You cannot do my best. That's true. Be the best you you can be. <laughs> Helping Grandma is exciting. Pearl tossed her hands in the air with a sweet smile. I get to pick the pieces of fabric that she will use next or thread the tiny needle. Sometimes I thread three or four so they will be ready when she needs them. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
those needles are tricky. <laughs> Sally and Ella lay on their bellies as Pearl recounted the rest of her story, her voice rising and falling like she was singing a song. Grandma says quilting isn't always easy. Sometimes the fabric is very thick and she has to use a thimble to keep from pricking herself. One time she stuck herself and I could tell she was vexed. But no matter what, Grandma keeps quilting. Hmm. She knows how... Grandma knows how uh, useful those quilts can come in handy. So she keeps going. She pushes through. It sounds like your grandma knows what she's doing, Ella said. I bet you can't make one. Yes, I can, Pearl blurted in response to Ella's challenge. Since you think you know everything, listen to this. The most important part of the quilt is the top. To make her special designs, Grandma sews many different scraps together. Sometimes she uses old clothes that don't fit anymore or Grandpa's old t-shirts. Pearl spoke quickly, telling everything she learned, but paused to take a breath before starting again. When the top is finished, the rest of the quilt is ready to be stitched together. Did you know that? Pearl crossed her arms in satisfaction when Sally and Ella shook their heads, then went on. The middle layer is called the batting. When grandma was little, sharecroppers grew the cotton and they would pick then flatten it for the quilts. Next comes the backing. Quilters used to use 25 pounds flour sacks for the backing, but now we can go to the store to buy everything that we need. Hmm. I wonder how those flour sacks probably added some weight to those blankets, I'm sure. Do you have any questions? Pearl asked her friends. No, they answered in unison. Good, Pearl said. Now when all the pieces are together, the back is folded to the front and the quilt is binded together. Some people quilt straight lines, crooked lines, patterns, or designs. Sometimes Grandma follows the design on the quilt top. Then there are times when she sews puzzle patterns. She says that it depends on what God says when they talk. I like looking on the back of the quilt to see her designs. <laughs> Wow, Pearl, you are right, Ella exclaimed. You know a lot about quilting. Grandma says that me and my cousins need to learn so that the world will know about our quilts too. Mm -hmm. The girls hadn't noticed that Grandma sneaked in to eavesdrop and hear Pearl teaching her friends so well. She held a few quilts in her arms as she addressed the girls with a sweet smile. It sounds like Pearl has been watching and listening, Grandma beaming with pride. She knows all about our family quilts and where they came from. We didn't have a lot of money back then, but we always had our quilts. Our elders gave us quilts as gifts, especially when we moved up north. We got them when we married. We even got them when we came back down south for visits. Ella and Sally, I have a gift for you. Here are your very own G's Ben quilts. Take good care of them. <laughs> Grandma handed each girl a quilt and was delighted to hear them squeal with excitement. On the back of your quilts, I have signed my name and written the name of the quilt. No one else has a quilt like yours. One day, you can pass it down to your own children and tell them the story of G's Ben Quilts. <laughs> I will be excited too. <laughs> and here's a little bit about the Arthur Miss Tangeler and the quilter who this book was based off of, Miss Mary Petway. The end. Yes, K Crew! Isn't it amazing how so much culture and history can come from even a quilt? That is so cool. Now this book was based on the artistry of Mary L. Petway, who is a Dees Bend native and also happens to be the aunt of Miss Tangeler. Now fun fact, the Dees Bend quilters actually inspired Amy Sherrill, who is the artist behind the portrait of Michelle Obama. Now to find your copy of this beautiful book, make sure to visit her website and also be sure to follow Tangela Irby on social media. 
I want to give a big thank you to Tangela for not only sending in this book, but for teaching us about the historic ladies of G's Bend. Now, I thank you all so much for joining me, but it's time to sing goodbye. Are you ready? Goodbye, 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 my friends, goodbye to you. I hope to see you again real soon. Be proud of all your work tonight. Now climb the bed and sleep real tight. On the count of three, let's say goodnight. One, two, three, goodnight.